Hey, what's up everybody? So back in the early 2000s, Apple played around with Titanium in their PowerBook line and came up with some problems pretty early on. There's not too many of these left around, at least that I see. So finally got my hands on one. Let's see if it works. Alright everyone, so here we supposedly have a 867 megahertz titanium power book of uh, one of the last 2002 releases. They're not too common, paid 60 bucks for this thing, condition unknown. So let's see if we can get this thing working. It's green, so it's got power. Uh, let's see if it turns on. Sweet, so it looks like it actually boots up here and it actually does show one gig of memory and an 867 megahertz G4. So let's get this thing torn down and cleaned up and replace the thermal paste while we're there. thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and remove the battery and a cool little feature on these is back in the day you could just have a little charging light I know a few other manufacturers did this as well but it was actually a really nice feature uh, just slide the lever there and we've got our battery now we're gonna go ahead and flip this back over and let's go ahead and get this keyboard up now got a 512 meg stick there and another there and now let's turn it over again see the bottom lid there uh, everything's a little loose here but I'm try to see if I can find some adhesive for this uh, see what I can do in a little bit all right let's go ahead and remove our Wi-Fi card here and you can see the airport card right here all right next we're gonna remove our hard drive and you know Someone's been in here, because this is definitely not a stock drive. It might be an SSD. Well, let's take a look. All right. Uh, definitely seems like we've got a SSD here. Uh, just a plastic enclosure. Sounds pretty hollow. So... Looks like someone took good care of this machine. Well, let's get this thing cleaned up. And we've got our disk drive here.
we've got our G4 all cleaned up finally. Ready for some fresh thermal paste and let's get this put back together. Let's go ahead and put our power adapter back in. Time to reinstall our optical drive now. Let's go ahead and put our SSD back in now. Okay, we're just gonna slip this cover on for a minute here. Uh, get this buttoned up and see if it still boots up and works. Hopefully I didn't break anything. So it seems like everything works. Let's get this powered back down and get it finished cleaning up and buttoned up. Now that that's done, let's see if we can glue this loose frame back down to the lid. Got some JB Weld here. Hopefully this will do the trick for us. All right, got everything on there good. Let's let this cure for a little while. Great, so let's take a look here at about this Mac. And it is on Jaguar 10.2. And it still found the full one gig of RAM. And under more info, everything looks good. Uh, this is way different than anything I'm used to. I haven't used too much before 10.4. Oh wow, so already I'm kind of curious. Shows we have OS 9. Let's take a look. I'm more curious about this. Let's see if we can boot into it completely. Great, so now that it actually booted into Mac OS 9, gone ahead and added a browser. Let's see if it'll actually go on the modern internet. Awesome, uh, looks like that's working. And let's see if we can go to Google. That seems to work just fine. Uh, let's take a look here. Okay, so that was a bus trying to load Google News. Uh, see if we can get in anything else. All right, so it actually loads uh, the modern Apple site. Can't really handle the formatting or anything. Right, so. I pulled up Mac Rumors here, uh, got something fairly modern loaded, and 
What's impressive is, even though, yeah, you don't have all the images or the formatting, you can actually read through this full entire article. Uh, start to finish. I've just got the new 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro article here. Not much else I have to show you right now. I'm sure we'll revisit this in the future though. What's up everybody? Thanks for making it this far into the end of my video. If you liked it, remember to hit that like button and give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so that way you get notified when I upload content like this in the future. Also feel free to leave a comment for any ideas or suggestions. And the sad part is, just to update, uh, the PowerBook started artifacting at the end of this video about 30 minutes after I finished filming. So I will be addressing this in the future. Hopefully I can get something straight on that. And until the next time.